Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic and Mr. Tango. So today's lesson is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson. I'm going to record the same as usual to my MSA students. So we will talk today about the face parts and the head. So we will take advantage of Tango's presence here and we will talk about his face parts and maybe later on you can do a homework and tell me about your own face parts and features. So before I begin, let me as usual ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like my lessons. Also to follow me on Instagram because I try to upload lessons as much as I can on a daily basis. And if you follow me and, I, and if you subscribe to my channel, of course this will encourage me to upload more and more lessons on a daily basis. So let's begin. I'm gonna say this is his head, okay? Heida raso. So ras in Arabic means head. Heida means this. And raso with the O in the end means his head. You will notice today I will be adding all the O, O, O sounds in the end because that's the possessive ending of the third person masculine. We did the possessive endings lesson. So if you want to remember that, you can go to that lesson and I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below. Okay, so Heida raso. Heida raso. This is his head. Heida wijo. This is his face. Heida wijo. Wij means face. Wijo means his face. So Heida raso. Heida wijo. So I'm using Heida for both because ras is masculine and wij is also masculine. Heida raso. Heida wijo. Let's say this is his forehead. Heida jbino. Heida Jbino. So Jbin means forehead. Jbino means his forehead. Heida Jbino. Heida Sha'aru. Sha'aru. Sha'ar means hair. Sha'aru means his hair. Heida Sha'aru. Now, Heidol. Heidol. Dine. So you see, I didn't say Heida. I'm saying Heidol because it's more than one, it's plural. So Heidol Dine. Okay, so when it's one ear, I'm gonna say Heide Dainto. Here, why am I using Heide? Because the word Dine alone uh, is a feminine word. So Heide Dine. This is an ear. Heide Dine. And it's a word that is feminine and it finishes with a Te Marbuta. All the words that are feminine should usually have a te marbuta. Let's say 99% of the times. So, so heide deine. And that te marbuta is mute. We don't pronounce it. It's silent. You see, I'm not saying heide deine. I'm saying heide deine. But because I'm saying now this is his ear, I'm adding the o. I have to say o heide deine plus o. I'm not going to say heide deine o. Because I added the possessive ending, in this case, we start pronouncing the te marbuta, the t sound. So that's why I say hey de dein to. So hey de deine, this is an ear. Hey de dein to, this is his ear. Okay. Hey dol dine, these are his ears. So hey da raso, this is his head. Hey da wijo, this is his face. Hey da sha'aru. This is his hair. Heide dainto. This is his ear. Heidol dine. These are his ears. Now, heide aino. Ain means eye. Aino is his eye. Heidol aine. Heidol aine. But we can also use heidol aino. Aine or ayuno, the plural, but the singular is ayn. Heide ayno, you see, it's another feminine word. But in this case, it's not a word that finishes with a te marbuta. Usually, when we have two of something in our body, they, they are usually feminine, like for example, ears, eyes, um, hands, feet, okay? So these are usually feminine because we have two of them, <laughs> because we have two of them in our body. So, going back to the eyes, this is an eye, 
This is his eye. Okay, let's pretend he has eyelashes, but he doesn't. Okay, eyelashes in Arabic is rmoosh. Rmoosh. The singular is remish, but we don't usually use it. Remish, because we have so many of them. So usually it's much more common to say rmoosh. So, haydol rmoosho. Why did I say haydol? Because it's plural. Haydol rmoosho. These are his eyelashes. Let's also pretend he has eyebrows. So, Eyebrow in Arabic is uh, hajib. In the singular, it's hajib. In the plural, is it's hwajib. So hajib, one eyebrow, hwajib, two eyebrows. Okay. So hayda, hajbo. It's a masculine word. You see, this is also another exception. We have two of them, but it's not feminine. So hayda, hajib. This is an eyebrow. هيدول حواجب These are eyebrows هيدول حواجبو These are his eyebrows Okay, now He has a nose منخار in Lebanese Arabic is a nose هيدا منخار هيدا منخارو This is his nose He was very active a while ago Maybe now he became a bit um, tired or sleepy Okay, let's talk about the mouth هيدا Timmo. In Arabic, we say tim, and then when it's his mouth, we say hayda timmo. Hayda timmo. This is his mouth. Now look, he's he's a tiny puppy, but he already has a mustache. So in Arabic, what's a mustache? It's shwerib. Okay, shwerib. It's a plural word. So haydol shwerib. These are uh, in Arabic, we say these are mustache, okay? So, haydol shwerib, and if I want to say these are his mustache, haydol shwerbo, haydol shwerbo. So, <laughs> look at his teeth, how cute they are. <laughs> so, haydol sneno, snen is teeth in the plural, and Sneno, his teeth. If you want to talk about just one tooth, you say sin. So, haida sin, this is a tooth. And haidol snen, these are teeth. Haidol sneno, these are his teeth. Okay, let's talk about his neck. Re'be, in Arabic we say re'be. Haide re'be, this is a neck. Haide re'bto, this is his neck. Do we have anything else? I think that's it. That's enough for today. So let me quickly recap. Ras, head. Wij, face. Sha'ar, hair. Daine, ear. Dinen, ears. Ain, eye. Ayun, eyes. Or Ainen, we can say, which is also eyes. Mankhar. Sometimes when we're pampering a baby or something, we can say mankhur instead of mankhar. So I can say mankhuru because he's a baby. Mankhur, tim, mouth, sin is a tooth, snin is teeth, eyebrows is hwajib, and one eyebrow is hajib, rmoosh is eyelashes, shwerib is a um, moustache. Look how he can roll his moustache like that. By the way, in Arabic, we say yiftul means like, you know, he rolls them like that. Yiftul shwerbo means he rolls his moustache like that. So, shwerbo, his moustache. And re'ibto is his neck. Re'be alone, but re'ibto uh, with the O sound in the end, with the possessive ending. And I also remembered there are three things I didn't tell you about. This is his, he doesn't even have a chin. But let's pretend he has a chin. We say da'an. Da'an is a chin, okay? And if he had a whole beard, we say lehye. Lehye is a beard. Mustache is shwerib. Lehye is a feminine word. That's why we say heide lehye. Heide lehyeito. It's a feminine word that finishes with a temar buta. So that's why lehye alone, we don't pronounce the temar buta. Lehyeito. His beard. Hayda lehayto. And hayda da'anu, which is his uh, chin. Okay. And 
his cheeks, we say cheek, one cheek in Arabic is khad, it's a masculine word, hayda khadde, and the two together is haydol khdude. So hayda khad, haydol khdud. You see, I said khdude because I was talking about mine, but if I talk about his, which he doesn't have, so hayda khaddo, this is his cheek, haydol khdudo, these are his cheeks. Okay? That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I would like you to do a small homework, maybe write it in the description box down below about the parts that we have on our face, okay? Maybe you can say my ears, my nose, my eyes by adding the possessive ending that means my in Arabic. You can remember it by checking the link in the description box down below. Thank you very much for listening to me and let's also say thank, thank you for Tango. Merci Tango! Merci! Okay, that's it and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye! Bye Tango! Bye! Bye bye! Okay. <laughs>